Well, we're going to move on quickly to uh, a really great Tech Corner, too, because we have Rob Bellinger, who's, uh, who's a guest and comes down and does Tech Corners with us on occasion. Uh, Rob is here today uh, with Dirk and going to be looking at, at the Olympus Stream again. So, Rob and Dirk, guys, take it away. Yep, thanks, Mike. Uh, yep, uh, once again, uh, Rob, thanks for joining us in the studio you. here. And what kind of software are we looking at today? Well, again, we're going to uh, dive into the Olympus Stream analytical software package. This is one specific solution that we're going to look at called Count Measure. So, Count Measure is a solution within the Olympus Stream software that allows customers to size and classify maybe particles or voids or uh, different, you know. Uh, particles that are colored compared to other backgrounds so they can get percentages of them total, counts total, sizing, shapes, any kind of measurement. And this is, this is uh, on, on, a, on, a 2D, on a 2D image capture or directly off of, directly on a microscope that's live? Well, it could be that. It could be on a direct microscope, so these could be hooked to stereo or compound microscopes, inverted scopes, or it could be uh, um, like an engineering station okay. where they bring the images back and they run it through our software. Okay, which is kind of how so we're doing it today. That's how we're yeah, doing okay. it today, yeah. So to begin with, you know, we have a sample up here. This is a, a demonstration cross-section of a material sample, like metal. And a customer might want to look at the void spots and size these inside this metal. Maybe these it black was a, areas. Yeah, the there. black areas. So these might be some weak areas in the metal. So first, the software has the ability to identify and outline a region of interest around this U-shaped metal piece. Um, it allows us, through this count and measure uh, tool window here, to quickly do automatic thresholding. Now what thresholding does is it looks at the intensity of a background to an intensity of whatever you're interested in. Could be by color, could be by grayscale, could be by um, uh, their shape factors even. Okay. And different and, things and like it, that. This is, this is automatic or it's so it's, it's, it's adjust the threshold is adjustable? This is a, I'm showing the automatic right here, okay. how the software determined based upon the um, histogram, it automatically set the okay. levels for us. Uh, later on I'll show a live one as well. So. Really, with automatic, you select it and hit count and measure on a region of interest, and the software does the rest. It's going to identify, size, and classify all the particles or voids in the sample. Here. I see. I see three different so colors on here. Three different colors are determined by the class. We sort separate those classes by their area. So this is a large, medium, and small size class. So we have our large particles, our medium, and our small particles. So the, 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 the red ones are the small, obviously, and the, what, the green is medium, yellow is, yellow is, is large. Larger. Okay. So if we look down here, we can have our three classes sorted. And this gives us our total area in micrometer squared per class of all the particles grouped together, or voids in this case. This also gives us the area, the fraction, kind of like a um, phase percentage of the total particles in those classes okay. compared to the region of interest that we selected around this uh, metal piece. So you mean it, it, it at, for, for any particular particle class or size, it gives you the percentage of the total Total, total area, area they take up okay. inside the region of interest, correct. Okay. And it'll even give you the relative object count within each class. Um, we can go a little further than that. We can look at the individual particles themselves. So if we actually click on a particle, it'll highlight it in the list of the particle list, um, or voids as, the, as these are, and it'll give you individual information on each one. It, to area of that single particle or, or void, the ferret measurement, which is the m widest max uh, distance inside the particle at any given point, uh, perimeters, you can even get things like shape factor, how circular this particle is. There's many, many more measurement values that we can sort by, but wanted to show another quick feature. If you look at this one, this is really two particles that are kind of adjoined. Or kind of joined together. Okay. Yeah. So within our software, we could select all the ones that we feel are adjoined and hit an auto split feature, and that will separate those out for us. So it, it determines it determines what, uh, how much overlap there is and decides whether to, to split those apart? Exactly, how, how much uh, that they're touching together. Okay. And if, it's, you know, if there's a shape coming into each other and there's too much touching, then it's considered to be all together as one whole. If there's a slight amount of touching, it can actually separate that with this And then, and then obviously it classifies them at the yeah. same time. Okay. So then you can click on each one separately and it's updated our class. So now it's not the yellow class anymore, it's a green and a red class. So 
that built in makes a quick result. So you can edit your results very fast by splitting, by manually splitting them if you had to. But then all these results are shown in the list. These all go out to our report format in the final output. Another thing that customers sometimes look for beyond just counting and sizing the individual particles themselves is they might want to know a phase percentage. Uh, maybe not even particles, it might be just like a, a background layer compared to another layer. They want to know the percentage of one compared to each other. So in that case, we could look at a sample like this where you have a carbon fiber sample. This has carbons and then the background you know, uh, media that holds it all together. They want to get a percentage typically of uh, the one media compared to another. The percentage, let's say percentage. Rosin, rosin to carbon fiber. Rosin to fiber. Too, too much or too little, neither one is good. Yeah, exactly. Okay, right. So on a sample like this, it might do two folds. They might want to count the voids, but then they'll probably also want to get the phase. So what we can do in the software is quickly switch to phase instead of counting classes. And with this one, we can set up three separate thresholds. So if I do this, you can see that we've set up one threshold for the dark backgrounds, okay. another threshold for the lighter fiber material, and then a bright threshold for the cross-section fibers that are a little bit brighter. Just by hitting count measure on this, we'll get our results as well down here in the three classes that we separated. So you can get total region of interest, the percentage within this field of view of how much those three different classes take up. And you can see that even in a class histogram here. I'll expand this real quick. The class histogram oh, okay. breaks it down so you can see the percentage of those three compared to, to the entire field of view of the image. Um, and typically, uh, typically for, for this software, what, what markets are, are typically using this? So this will have a broad range. It's going to be a lot of materials, though, like fibers and metals. Um, but it could be into manufacturing of, like, uh, medical devices for knowing their cleanliness. Sure, particle um, count. Particle yeah. count, okay. stuff like that. Also, semiconductor, um, they might be interested in particle count or maybe even like a void area of their devices that they're okay. manufacturing. Um, so it has a lot of placements, even down to just powders. You know, customers are making filters, will sometimes filter through colored beads and they'll want to size and classify the red colored beads from the green ones because they're different sizes and how many of those pass through the filters that they're manufacturing. Could be air filters, water filters. Um, okay. There's a broad range, and that's why the material science, you know, the material solution modules here kind of cover that broad range. Another thing to point out in the stream software, the count and measure solution kind of covers everything phase, particle sizing, a group of everything. But if a customer is doing one specific type of thing, we do have those broke down into individual solution modules like porosity, phase analysis, like what we did here or particle distribution. These solution modules being focused make it a little bit easier for a user interface, and it's only going to come out with one result, the results they're looking for that are focused. And it's a much simple, uh, much more simple user interface, large button interface. I've shown these in the past. The yeah, solution exactly. Modules. The yeah. user interface is always really good. Yeah. And at the end, it gets the data focused out to what they want. It can batch process large amounts of images as well through databasing or file formats. So. Okay. And what, what was the what was the software called again? This is the Olympus Stream software. Okay. And the solution module uh, we have count and measure, and then the other solution modules here, porosity phase analysis or particle distribution. Okay. They well, all similar, do similar well, functions. Uh, Rob, thanks for, uh, thanks for coming by once again yeah, and then uh, showing us uh, uh, Olympus Software, uh, Olympic Stream, right? Olympus Stream Software. Olympus Stream, yeah. all right, okay. <laughs> okay, thanks, back to you, Mike. Well, there you go, yes, the Olympus Stream from Rob Bellinger and Olympus. Another great tech corner there from, uh, from Rob. Thank you for coming down. Rob's not too far from us, so we, every once in a while he comes down the road, comes down I-5, I-99 actually, and joins us here in yep. Chico to, to do a tech corner. So that's a great one. Thank you, Rob, for doing that. Thank you, Olympus, for providing it. Well.